Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Long time no see, I have been missing in action, but I have just been planning and trying to figure out creative ways to really inspire you to have a simpler lifestyle on a budget. So I am going to share with you how I prepare simple sourdough crepes with discard. So if you're not into sourdough, that's completely okay. You're just gonna replace the cups with flour. So you are gonna need six farm fresh eggs or any type of pasture raised eggs. So I'm collecting six from my chicken coop and I have one of my hens checking out our new coop that I'm now housing four of my baby chicks in right now. We got them back in April and we didn't wanna push them on the older girls so we put them in a smaller coop to kinda of acclimate them better with the older girls and it seems to be working out fine. However, my hen here wants to check out the house to make sure the roof and everything's good. So in a large bowl, you're gonna go ahead and put two cups of sourdough discard that has been fed within the last 12 hours. And all discard is, is just extra sourdough that you aren't using to leaven bread or anything like that. And I have an abundance of amount. So this crepe recipe, I figure, you know what? I want to make some savory and sweet crepes that was inspired by a trip that I took last summer with my daughter. They had this really cute crepe little restaurant and they had savory and sweet crepes, which is perfect for my family because we're some of us are savory and some of us are sweet. So to that, you're going to add six eggs into your mixture along with six tablespoons of butter that is melted, a half teaspoon of sea salt, one fourth teaspoon of honey and a half cup of whole milk and you're going to combine everything. I'm preparing this crepe recipe the day before. I'm not much of a morning person so I'm doing as much preparation the day before. So when I wake up to prepare this recipe in the morning everything's ready to go. The sourdough Grape recipe mixture is ready to go. All my sliced fruits and vegetables are ready to go. And all I have to do is heat up the cast iron skillet. Makes the mornings easy, makes them a breeze and whatnot. So with this being said, also making this, if you use sourdough, it gives it time to ferment. So what that means, if you make it the day before, it ferments a little bit longer in the refrigerator. So that means that you're gonna be able to easily digest it. And also there's gonna be more probiotics and good healthy gut bacteria in there. So you're gonna get more benefits in the long run if you give it a little bit longer fermentation. So once everything was prepped and ready to go for tomorrow morning's delicious, savory and sweet crepes, I'm actually feeding my sourdough so it is ready to go if I want to bake a loaf of bread, which I am planning on doing. I try to, it is one of my goals this year, is to bake all of our bakery items in our house and try to buy very little from the store or bakeries. So that is what I'm doing here, and I'm feeding it about a fourth cup of water, filtered water and flour, mixing it and setting it off to the side. So now we are here basically the next day and I am heating two cast iron skillets. I like to do that because I can start two crepes at the same time and the mixture is in this glass jar and I am spraying the bottom of the cast iron with a little bit of olive oil and you are going to need a spatula for this and you are going to need I guess these are both called spatulas or flippers I'm not sure but the spatula so you can take 
the ends away from the side of the pan and then the flipper to flip it so you can get the other end. So that is what I'm doing here. And this made about oh, close to a dozen crepes. So just depending on the size of your skillets, that is going to determine how many crepes you get out of this particular mixture. And the full recipe is over on my blog, so make sure you check that out, and I'll link it below. But you don't want these thick like a pancake. You want them thin, like a thin tortilla shell. And I'm, as you can see, I'm rolling it so I can get all of my edges and so it can have that thin consistency. And then once it starts bubbling and it starts pulling away from the cast iron, that's when you take that spatula, you kind of go, you make a circle around it, and then you flip it. And this little handle here is nice if you work with cast iron because obviously, as you know, the whole skillet is warm and this is nice because it just slips on and off the handle. As you can see, I, this is what I mean by going around and pulling it away from the skillet. So these are delicious and yummy. And like I said, I have a variety of crepes you can make over on the blog, but my daughter had strawberry. My son did uh, ham and cheese and spinach crepe. Mine is mushroom, onion, and cheese crepes. So my son and I are big savory. My daughter is very sweet. And you can do triple berry. The possibilities are endless. They are delicious and they make a uh, great meal anytime, but we love them in the breakfast on a slow morning. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I really appreciate you stopping by and watching the video until the end. That really means a lot to me, spending time with me and it's, it inspires me and hopefully I can inspire you to create a simpler lifestyle on a budget. Of course, you know, I'm always looking for ways to save money and I'm looking for ways to create a healthier, simpler lifestyle for obviously myself and family, but also for you. So thanks so much for stopping by the farmhouse.